What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Chris back again with another video for you guys today. In this video, I want to talk about investments for this week. Things you can expect to go up in price. Obviously, there's a lot of things coming out this week. We're going to have Player of the Month Messi, who has pretty much been confirmed. Player of the Month Bruno Fernandez should be this Friday. He has also been confirmed by Manchester United's Twitter account. So those are two pretty big things with that has implications on high rate of fodders specific cards i'm going to talk to you guys about i'm going to give you guys sell times buy times if you guys like these sort of videos make sure you guys do drop a like while you're here and subscribe if you are new as well so let's get over to fupin it's going to be a fupin type video there'll be some things on the console but it's mostly going to be on fupin so let's get right into it the first thing we need to look at is high rate of fodders now we just had an alexandro sbc that had three 86 rated squads. Now, if you saw what happened last week or a couple weeks ago, we got the name RSBC. It made fodders not really rise too much. But what ended up happening was other SBCs came along with it over like the week or two span. And that's when higher rated gold started to go up because if people are getting these higher rateds or if there's so many SBCs for people to go and complete, well, you have like three or four different types of players that are going to be going and buying your fodder cards so that's why it made like 89 overalls like 45,000 coins so i'm going to give you guys a little bit of a, a hint on certain investments so obviously 83s are you know you could buy a discard you, you don't even have to you know you could just hold in the club until you until they go up in price 84s i mean at some point 84 has got to go up in price they're under 2,000 coins they are super super low I would expect these cards to rise over the next few weeks, if not this week for sure. 85s at under 6,000 coins would be really good for me. Um, in particular, I'd probably look at like a James Rodriguez here. Um, I would look at more like midfielders, center backs, right backs, left backs, if you guys can. Um, and try to undercut it by like five, 600 coins. That's what I would do. 86 overalls. I think that 86 is should be around 15 to 16 normally like usually around 14.5 15 and then when they go up it's usually around 18 to 19 so as you can see right now i'd say less than like 12.5 and under is really good for any of these cards um ones in particular i'd probably look at racket dish would be very good parejo would be very very good he usually does well um you know i would say you know, maybe Cor not Corona, but like Verratti would do well. So Marquinhos would be another one. If you look at all the 86 rated players, if I show you right, uh, really quickly here, and I order it by price, if we could take this look right here. So instead of this, so you have Thomas Muller who could go up a little bit as well. Uh, I like Isco, 12.5 to 13, and those kind of cards would be really good. Now going back to the uh 87s the 87s you want to be looking at like 19k and under those should start to go up to like 24 25 this week now bruno fernandez is coming so what happens usually is a big spc will make center backs go up more the links that are used in high rated teams the most i've always seen is aldevild vertonghen and loris those are the three players that usually get because they have the Spurs strong link. So it gives you about 25 to 30 chemistry easily. And uh, in high rated squads that require 50 to 75 chemistry. You're going to need some links in there. And people like to use those three. So I mean getting Aldevald. Getting Vertonghen. Maurice would be another good one at like 27 and under. I think 87 and 19 are good. Um, I would say in terms of like the center backs. Like Fernandinho, Laporte would be good. Um, Vertonghen and, and Aldevel, get them at like a thousand coins under the current price. They should just start keep rising up. 88 to like 27 and under are fine. 89 should go back up again. If you look at this Allison right here, with Bruno coming out this week, okay, he was 45,000 coins at a point. He probably hit a peak of 48k. He probably did. So for me, 36 and under, you saw like what happened if there was an SBC that came out that made these cards go up so i would assume that these cards are going to go back to 44 45 you can pick those up at 36 ish uh i would buy ter stegen at 43 and under and the reason why is because i'm messy uh if he does require like say they price him at 2.5 million he should go up a little bit uh especially i think it's gonna be like a 97 overall messy so 
Um, yeah, I would look at Terstegan. I'd look at Old Black around 55. Um, and yeah, that would pretty much be it for those kind of cards. Modric probably is a little high. Let me see where he's hit his peaks. Let's take a look here. Where is he hit? He hit about 63 on March 5th. So you know what? I think, you know, 15 under would be good for him uh, with the Messi coming out. Uh, if you look at Ter Stegen right here, again, he gets those links to, to like, obviously, La Liga center backs. Yeah, he went to 57. So for me, 44, 43 for Ter Stegen is fine. Um, club stocking or going all in, I don't think it would really be that bad if you went all in on these cards. So definitely take a look at this kind of fodder stuff. That's the first thing we want to talk about. Now, team of the weeks. Obviously, it's something you guys always want to invest in. There's only three or four players that actually probably will go up because of their just demand and people putting them in their teams. So the four players I'm going to categorize here that should go up out of packs because of like in demand. Carver Hall should go up less than like 58k on PS. I think he's going to do really well. If you look at his 86, he was chilling around 60 to 70. This card at like 58 and under, I think would be good. 46 and under for Xbox would be good. And then I know people have been requesting PC. Try to get me like 55, 56. I don't know how the PC market works, but I think you want to be looking at that price over the next 24 hours before they go to PAX. Manolas, I think on Xbox is really, really low. 35, 36k for that card, I think is too low. And I think on PS, 37, 38 is also a good price. PC, if he is 31.7, I would look at him under 30. I think that would be a really good price for him. Coutinho is another one that I think should go up out of packs. If you look at the 88 Coutinho, he was uh, very expensive, right? He was, I think, at a peak like 95k, 90k, something like that. And he was doing really good for Thursday flipping. So for me, 53 and under for him is pretty good. And then on Xbox, 55. PC, it's a little high for him, but 62 and under. Uh, you might be able to see a little bit of profit on that. The last player in here that will actually go up because of their in-demand, I think, would be Saul. And he's also good for, you know, SBCs as well. 27, 28, and under for both consoles, I think, are pretty good. Even on PC, 28, 27 would be fine for him. I think he's got a decent card. Three-star skills, four-star weak foot. Uh, Spanish links as well. If Messi does come out, you could see him go up a little bit um, because of the 87 inform being used in solution. So I would take a look at that. Now, the guys you want to be picking up at around discard are less than 11,000 coins. Or, you know, I'll, I'll rephrase that. Less than 12,000 should be Orellana, Ben Sabani, Stangs, Benedetto, Geniac, who is literally discard. All these guys are discard. I'd pick them up, stock them in the club. I think the star card should go up as well. Um, if you just buy them a discard price, the worst that can happen, he goes to 15 to 16K. So I would definitely club stock him. I think Marcus Alonso for an SBC fodder less than 20k would be all right. He's he's a left back as well. Um, like I said, Guaita probably discard, and Zapata less than 18 and under for both consoles is fine. Now another thing I want to take take you guys through is Aaron Wan-Bissaka had a very very good performance against Manchester City yesterday. As I'm a United fan, I obviously know how valuable Aaron Wan-Bissaka is to our squad. He's up a little bit. Um, he's up like 10,000 coins. I would say for you guys, less than 40, he should keep rising into Wednesday. So less than 40k for this Aaron Wambasaka, he should go to around 50s. Uh, and then on Xbox, less than 50 should be alright. Uh, you're getting it a little bit late, but he should still go up in price. Um, I would love to see him back here at 36, 37, but I doubt we'll see that. So less than 40 would be probably ideal for Aaron Wambasaka. You want to sell this card probably before the announcement on Wednesday if he gets in. Always selling the hype just to make sure. Thorgan Hazard's another one to watch that had a pretty good game for Dortmund this week. Uh, and Dortmund also are going to be getting some headliner upgrades, so I'll talk to you guys about that. Uh, Thorgan Hazard, less than 17k on both consoles, I think is fine. Uh, on PC, 19. I'm not really sure how the PC market works, if there is any demand on cards. I know it was a request to comment in the, you know, the comment section, but I'd say those are the prices I'd look at for... Um, for PS, Xbox, and PC. Again, sell the same time as Aaron Wan-Bissaka. You should see him go to about 21, 22 before the announcement. Because he should, I think, go to an 86 overall. Which would, which would be a decent card. So, I would take a look at that. Uh, Saudi Oman is also going to be going into packs this week. I can't imagine EA not giving him an inform. Because 
of just the lack of team of the weeks that we could get this week there's not really that many standout performances so for me 76 and under for ps is good uh hopefully we do get some pack supply over the next 24 hours to maybe let him drop a little bit before he goes out of packs i'd say 67 and under on xbox would be good as well uh i think he's high on pc but i think that's because of the rarity i'd say 86 and under would probably be all right this card you want to sell thursday night uh usually what happens is people go and build their squads with the coins they get from weekend league and this card is obviously out of pack so what ends up happening is there's no supply coming onto the market and there's only demand that is driving that card up in price the only people that are selling this money card are people that are probably replacing him in their squad and there's not that many most likely that are still using a mane in their squad and they're probably upgrading but he still would go up in price as we've seen a bombing go up about 8 to 9k so all of these cards still do have some value if they do go out of packs i would take a look at those prices for me sell thursday night after awards uh and the last one i want to take you guys through is this headliner delaney card I think he's going to rise prior to his upgrade this week. Um, this card, you want to look at like 180 and under. I think 180 is a great price. He does fluctuate as well. If you guys look right here, he does fluctuate to like 190s. So for me, before he gets an upgrade, because Dorman did get a, uh, they did get their fourth win this week. Lewandowski should also be going up um, because of the fourth win for Bayern. But if you look at Delaney, right, if you look at this card, uh let's see if we could find one on maybe like under 180 because that'd be a good price for him so let's see i need it needs to perform the search because i haven't been on here so 184 right there and i've seen him at 194 so maybe i take a look at this at like 180 ish he does fluctuate there so i would say for me 180 on ps is fine and then on xbox i would say like 157 and under would be good this card should rise before he gets the upgrade. I'm not particularly sure when the upgrade happens. It usually is about 48 hours after the um, after the game. Uh, so hopefully you see this card maybe go like low 200s uh, in the hype going in. Um, and you know what we've also seen guys. Which I'm not going to tell you guys to hold because I always say you sell into the hype. Always take the profit when you see it. But sometimes these cards have actually been going up with their upgrades we've seen that this year with road to the finals we've also seen that with headliner cards so there's a possibility that these cards may go up uh with their upgrades it just depends on the the demand of the of the card pretty much so that's everything around that um and i believe there is champions league games on this week um so we do we could get ucl marquee matchups now if we do get ucl marquee matchups i would take a look at players from the bigger games this week so if i just look right now on google uh ucl games this week and just see which ones are happening so it looks like valencia atalanta uh dortmund psg this is this week and liverpool atletico madrid i really hope that dortmund psg game is on my tv because atletico madrid is like eh, i don't know but psg to all win rb leipzig and tonham so for me i think that we're going to probably get PSG Dortmund or Atletico Madrid. And we're probably going to get RB Leipzig and Tottenham. Now, if we get Tottenham, what you guys want to always look at for these cards is you want to look at some of the UCL cards here of the wider players. So if I go and look at, you know, like Lamella. Lamella would be a perfect player to invest in if he's at discard price. So let me actually see where is Lamella in price. And this is a little bit of a longer video, so I do apologize, guys. Um, but if I look at Lamella here, right, because he's a wide player, and he's about 1,100 coins. Now, if you get this at under 1,000, you can pretty much see this card go to about uh, 1,500 to 1,700 coins. It's more of a lower budget investment, but it still should go up because of the hype that uh, the SBCs usually do garner if we do get the UEFA market matchups. Um, and obviously, look out at, like, left backs, right backs, left mids, right mids, CDM, center backs, Cards that get links to multiple players. So, like, for example, a right mid and left backs and right backs. These cards are less common. Uh, just, I don't know, because of the pack weight. And also, they get links to more players. If you look at, a, like, a right mid, for example, the right mid gets gets a link to the either CDM, the center mid. They get a link to the right back, 
or the striker. So there's a lot of links that that player gets, which is why it, when people are trying to figure out chemistry, that is the reason why those cards are more in demand. So definitely take a look at some of those cards, the UCL versions and the gold versions as well. They should go up a little bit. If we get a pack supply SBC over the next 24 hours, whether that be tradable or untradable, look out onto the market and see if you can find some people that maybe undercut a little bit on those cards. Get them at like under a thousand coins. Um, and then for the non-rares, try to get them at like 600, 700 and under. They should go to over a thousand. It's more of a lower budget investment. But hopefully that it, I hope you guys did enjoy the video today. Make sure you guys do drop a like, comment, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll talk to you guys in a video soon. Peace out.